It's all an illusion. Hollywood, they're being controlled. There's an agenda. You know, there there are people in Hollywood. I mean, how is it plausible? How is it plausible that everything Hollywood promotes is antithetical to the Bible? I mean, there's gotta be like just one thing that they were like, yeah, that part's true. No, it's like they're anti-marriage, they're uh, anti-life, they're tra yeah. pro-transgender, pro. It's like it literally, it's like someone read the Bible and then said it upside down, and they go, that's Hollywood. But this is my thing. As someone, if you are, say something biblical, or you are faithful in Hollywood, you'd be the first person to get canceled. See, I disagree. And then, I guess, only reason, because I've been in it, and as a person who's learned to attempt to walk and operate in a higher frequency, I've always said, or somebody taught me this, is like, yo, you can find the devil in anything, but you can see God in everything. Show me God in Hollywood, please. I Come and tell me right now. Way. Oh, give you it to me. You can't see God in Hollywood? I see. I literally see. You can't see. You can't. So you've uh -huh. never told me. There's never been a film that has touched your soul so much that it actually enlightened you and inspired you. Well, what you're taught, give me an example. Because then if you saw. Forrest Gump. Let me give you. Let me. <laughs> Hollywood exists to make you believe that what you're watching. It's to make, to make believe. Yeah, it is a land of make-believe, but the problem is, is that people then think that that is real. So you don't realize that there's an okay. agenda. So you're okay. watching a film, and I think years ago, right before the explosion of the trans agenda, which I'm adamantly opposed to, um, there was a film, and it won the Oscar for the first person that ever got transgendered surgery. Somebody help me here. Somebody knows this movie, no? None of y'all saw it. Yeah. yeah, I didn't watch it either. Anyways, it won, it won an Oscar, and the, and the guy who played the girl or the girl who played the guy came on stage and like did this whole speech. Literally right after, it was just like transgender everywhere. But that's a that's so, a beautiful so, story. It's not a beautiful story because this is the problem. Kids grow up, and TV is something that is impacting their psyche and their spirit. They don't realize it. You don't make that connection early on. You think you're watching stuff. Unless and, they have parents and that real. explain to them. But that's the problem. They don't. Right. That's the problem. They don't. All right. So what do you think about that conversation? <laughs> <laughs> well, I do think I do think she has a point when it comes to Hollywood, because when we think of like the history of where this entertainment and all that stuff came from, it wasn't for God. Like when you go to the history of theater, it was for those Grecian gods, whatever, they actually did that. And then theaters themselves was a place where you can gamble, drink, have prostitutes, all of that stuff happening. So it never was created to glorify God. Um, so just the history based on that. But one thing that I can say, though, is God is moving and working in Hollywood. You do have people that are actively there because even the script writing program that I just graduated from, all, it was all created and all of the teachers were people who are actively pursuing Christ and work in Hollywood. So like it's and in there, I just was inspired so much because God is literally getting glory out there. And you do have to move different because like she said, you can't get canceled. You can't be like super overt um, or whatever, um, which they did talk to us about. But one thing that really inspired me was like the highest selling um, record for a spec script, which is like somebody who just wrote a script for a Hollywood movie. Um, is at five million, and that's a Christian that wrote it. So, like the film was with Paula Patton and um, Denzel Washington. Deja vu. Deja vu was written oh, really? by a Christian. I know I like that movie. Yes. <laughs> so, like there are films out there that are inspiring people, and that was even a topic because it's quote unquote a secular movie, but it had a lot of Christian themes in it. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I remember even talking to my mom, and I don't know if you guys you guys have seen The Devil's Advocate. Mm -hmm. That's a Christian film. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it don't say it, but if you really think about it, it it's yeah. talking about God being in like the highest power. You see the evil of Satan and how he infiltrates mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. the, in, the different industries and, and influences and like that's a Christian movie. Wow. Yeah. So God is still moving and working in Hollywood, even though that wasn't created for him. He's still moving and working and people are getting saved and experiencing Christ in Hollywood. Yeah. Yeah. I think what she's talking about, um, to a certain extent, I think she's talking about like the movies and the the. I don't know she. I don't know she know people in Hollywood, so I, I don't know about that. But I think what she's talking about is what's being portrayed from Hollywood. And mm -hmm. I think what she's seeing is that, and like any other conservative that's worried is like we're seeing stuff that's being pushed on our kids and stuff like that. 
my only problem is is like well there's alternatives you don't have to put your kids in front of this like i'm True, like man. i don't think and and and, and we probably have disagreement i don't think we should like i think you should find christian entertainment for your kids i think yeah. that's when you as a parent have to say you're not watching this mm-hmm. you're watching this and i think sometimes like they like she she said they both said that they they don't have some 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 kids don't have parents so or don't have like um, parents that's responsible enough for what they watch and stuff. So I just think to me personally, I'm like I wouldn't rely on Hollywood to raise my kids when I have children. Yeah, of course, but at the same time, I'm like I'm not expecting Hollywood to produce good quality stuff. Right. I know good and quality directors but, who do different things, but I'm not expecting them. To here's, that. here's the problem: even if Jeremiah, you don't show your kids Hollywood, Hollywood influences their friends. And then yeah. their friends influence your kid. So yeah, it, yeah. it gets to your kid some kind of way, somehow. But I think that's when, like, that's when a conversation would happen. That's when it would be like, well, my friend said this. Well, let's uh, let's talk about why your friend said this. And this is what we believe in this household. You get what I'm saying? I think that's, yeah. and I'm, I'm not, I'm, and maybe I'm speaking easier than said it done. But at the same time, I just think, for me, I know, I take challenges of stuff like that. Where it's like, we got to find you something better, more yeah. excellent than this. You know what I mean? And just have that conversation. I, I think it's just a general brainwashing that has occurred yeah. over years. Yeah. And you're starting to see the fruit of it where the kids today, wh- when we were growing up, it was like you would never think of, to do some of the things yeah. that are going on now. Yeah. It was taboo. Yeah. Yeah. It was it was frowned upon. Now, over years and years and years, they've made it taboo to not think those things are okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's worked. So now your kid doesn't just have to grow up and you shield them from bad media. Mm-hmm. Everything in their environment is telling them yeah. sin yeah. is okay. Yeah, yeah. that's real. Yeah, I, I think like it might be a few lights in the dark, you know, so a few specs of light in the dark, but I think as a whole, that industry is wicked. We see several actors come out and talk about how they tapping into spirits and mm-hmm. yeah. some one dude saying he worshiped the devil and doing all this crazy stuff. We even talked about the origin of improv acting, where the guy who created improv was actually instilling some kind of witchcraft to where you're doing witchcraft without even realizing it. So I think the foundation of, of a course is in this world is going to be wicked. I think there are some people who are going to go in, just like anybody else who go in the world to do ministry. I think some people can't infiltrate the industry and do some good positive things. But as a whole, the influence that it has on people, I think is negative. I think it's demonic. You think about the, the movies that are like on Disney Plus, I'm looking like that. Ag- Agatha All Along and all the mm. witchcraft movies are being pushed to the forefront and all this mm. stuff. Like, they're not putting the Christian movies up there in the front and saying, hey, look at this. Is there a Christian movie on there? You know yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah. I think for the masses, it's tricking people and they don't even realize they're being tricked, don't even realize they're being influenced. Mm-hmm. We think it's normal. Mm-hmm. And here we have the Holy Spirit. We have a certain kind of spiritual awareness to let us know, like, whoa, my kid's not going to watch that. But for the millions and millions of people out here, they don't have all that. Mm-hmm. So they're going to be just watching stuff, just blindly listening to it. Next thing you know, when your son over here saying, hey, I want to be a girl, or when your girl over here, she throwing the football, you know what I'm saying, strong, <laughs> farther than your son, and she looking like, you know what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you looking like, hey, what's going on? You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, you got to just you gotta pay attention. Yeah, I, I agree with Jeremiah's point. Um, I will say this, though. There was a movie, can't remember the name of it, that me and my wife did not want our kids to see. And we were just like, yeah, you know, just don't want you to watch this movie, okay? All right, well, fine, we won't watch the movie. And they know better than to, you know, flip through those movies that we don't want them to see. But then they saw their school. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And it was introduced to them. And then when you have popular characters like Frozen and Bluey and all these different things, and I they're introducing... Bluey, huh? I know, I, I like Bluey. Bluey but <laughs> yeah, there's stuff but, snuck in there, too, though. Bluey also has a... Um, stuff in there. There's a couple episodes I let them skip by, but for the majority yeah, I, of them. They're yeah. nine minutes. I don't know how to skip through them like that. <laughs> find the right ones. But, yeah, it's just one of those things where... You, you you don't want your children to be, you know, in these environments. But I, I agree with what she's saying. I don't see God in Hollywood. Mm-hmm. I see people that are um, of Christ that are trying to, you know, be in Hollywood. Mm-hmm. But Hollywood itself is not pushing God's agenda. And then I'd say, you know, the last thing is um, with Nick Cannon, I appreciate him trying, but he's still... Got it's it's like he changes his pattern to, according to who the guest is, mm-hmm. and I'm I, I was just telling Ike earlier I watch a podcast and I stop watching them because they change their minds. They'll be Christian I know one day, yeah, mm-hmm. and then the next day they're talking about how they smashed last night. So I'm like, you, know, yeah. you can't do that. Huh. I, I I do say this. Um, do we? And this is coming down your alley because I know you. We talking about movies. Do we feel like what Christian hip hop was to hip hop to 
Christian movies to mainstream movies? I don't even think they're there yet. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they're definitely not there yet. So um, I mean, I mean, I'm saying I like, them, I watch them. So, <laughs> no, 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 but, no, no, but what I'm saying is like, do you support like, like, do which, if you found like, I me and you had this conversation about Angel yeah. Studios. I love Angel Studios, but when I found out something, I was like, oh, I told y'all that. But at the same time, <laughs> they make quality films. Yeah. The Kendrick brothers make quality films to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's yeah. some people that make quality films, and I'm like, they need an app. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, maybe that's what Pure Flix supposed to be, but like, you know, mm-hmm. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. Like, is it is it that we like? I say this about like once you find good Christian hip hop, you be like, yo, I didn't know this exists. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But it's like it's like you got a hard it's hard to find or you got to dig for it. And I think the same thing about Christian movies. It's yeah. good quality Christian movies out there, but it's like it's hard to find. You know what I'm saying? It's all distribution issue, right? Yeah. The reason you get you people go and get signed is because they have better distribution channels. They yeah. know they know where to push the button to get the the trailer in front of you, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and the trailer is going to be effective. They know how to pay the right people to put the right needle drop in the yeah. trailer and cut the right scenes together. That takes a lot of money, a lot yeah. of resources that we don't have. So yeah. as good as your movie idea might yeah. be, mm-hmm. getting it to look like your idea on the screen is hard, and then getting it to be pushed the right way is even harder than that. Yeah. So us competing in that world is really difficult. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there are people who have succeeded. Like, um, what was the name of the Angel Studios movie? That kind of it, it hit the top ten for the summer. Was the shift? Sound, uh, Sound of Freedom, Freedom right? Yeah. So that took a lot of focused yeah. effort. Uh, Passion of Christ took a lot of focused effort to get that thing to even to punch into the top yeah. ten. So it's not impossible, but there needs to be a lot of <clears throat> groundwork. The idea has to be really good. Has to be very clear that this movie is for us by us, and it needs to take everybody from every color to push the movie yeah. in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If we push at, at the same time at something, it will work. But it's just we have so many. We just talked about it. we have so many disagreements on yeah, everything yeah. Yeah. that it's hard to get us all pushing in the same direction. 